The following is the fourth introduction to Math 241 trigonometry class. In this section, we will talk about, we'll discuss special right triangle, uh, 30, 60 degree, 90 degree triangle. Okay, so we are looking at this type of triangle, this type of right triangle. Now, this is a special right triangle because we see this quite common in trigonometry. Okay, now what I will do, uh, I will, we will try to find the ratio of three sides of this triangle and using similar triangles later on, uh, we will be able to expand this even further. Now let's start from uh, equilateral triangle. Let's start from equilateral triangle. We know that uh, triangle is equilateral if and only if that triangle is an also equiangular triangle. Now, I don't think this is quite nice. I just try to give you the idea. Uh, suppose this is an equilateral triangle, so all three sides are congruent. Now, because it is an equilateral triangle, then each angle of the interior angle are also congruent 60 degree right now what i will do then i will cut it into a half here okay i cut it into half now uh, for the purpose of nice number let's say that the length here is two the length of the sides are two Therefore, once I cut it into half, this becomes one. Okay, now let's pull that triangle out. I will pull that out. Now we will be looking at this triangle here, or let's say I zoom it a bit. So this is my 30 degree now because I divide it into two, right? I do angle by section there. Then here, 60 degree. <coughs> now we know that from the picture we have there, this is two and this is one. Now by Pythagorean theorem, then we see that this will be radical three. Okay, let's see. Suppose that's our x, x squared plus one squared equals to two squared so x squared plus one equals to four so x squared equals to three now x equals to square root of three right okay so that's how we get that uh, thing here now uh, what i want you to memorize is the following that if you have this special right triangle, 30, 60, 90 degree triangle, then the ratio will be as the following. The side, the opposite of 30 degree is the base one. I call that base because that will be our stepping stone. Okay, now the side adjacent to the 30 degree or opposite of 60 degree will be radical three. If this were 1, this is radical 3. And the hypotenuse will be twice of uh, the length of the side adjacent, uh, opposite of 30 degree. Okay, so, so put it this way. If this were, if, if this is the, the side opposite to 30 degree, then the hypotenuse will be twice of that. And the other leg will be radical three of them. Okay, now to solidify my point, this is what I want to say. Suppose I have a right triangle, 30, 60 degree triangle. This is 60 degree here. 
and this is 30 degree here suppose this is a here and therefore this will be well you may say this is b no 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 yeah we know this will be b but but i mean in sense of a in terms of a this will be a multiplied by radical 3 okay and the hypotenuse will be twice of that a that's what i want to say okay maybe to simplify in uh, this 30 60 degree uh, right triangle the triple is a a radical 3 to a okay which is actually the multiple of a of that triangle of that triple if I write the triple this is 1 radical 3 2 that's the triple right now if you multiply that by a on each one co component that's what you get okay now why do we why do we want to learn this to know this well because with this we see this quite often we really see this quite often suppose I for example I have a 30 60 degree triangle which sometimes they don't say 30 60 degree triangle they may say this is theta uh, uh, this is theta and this is 2 theta right and the only way that can happen is when you have 30 60 degree triangle 30 60 degree right triangle right now suppose that I say oh uh, this is 4 here and we know this is 30 60 90 degree triangle then uh, this will be 4 radical 3 and this will be 8 okay now how do you get that Thomas well, that's because this is 4 times 1, and therefore this must be 4 times radical 3, and this will be 4 times 2. Okay, by the idea of uh, uh, triples, right? The multiple of the triple. So all you need to memorize is this. Every time you see 30, 60, 90 degree right, uh, triangle, uh, you need to memorize the ratio 1, radical 3, 2. Okay? Now, if you master that, then once you know one side, you know the other two sides. Okay, now let's do another example. Let's do another example. Uh, the other example we are going to do here, uh, let's say I have this right triangle. This is so not 30, 60 degree triangle, but let's say it is 30 degree, 60 degree here. Okay, now suppose uh, the I tell you that the hypotenuse is 10 the hypotenuse is 10 okay which one of these we know first well the base or the stepping stone is the side opposite of 30 degree right if we know this then 10 is actually double of that okay so what will that be well, from here to here, you multiply by 2. Means from here going back there, we divide by 2. This will then be 5. Now, once we know the side opposite of 30 degree, then the side adjacent to 30 degree will be multiplied by radical 3. Okay? Now, if you try to solve this algebraically, it could be too long, you know, instead of do, trying to do it algebraically for something we see over and over again, how about memorizing it? Okay, you need to memorize the ratio. Another example, this will be the last example for this introduction. Suppose I have a right triangle, 30, 60 degree right triangle. Now let's so this is 30 degree here and this is 60 degree here. Uh, suppose I have this is uh, let's say this is uh, 6 <coughs> now notice that this is not the base this is the adjacent of 30 degree okay the base supposed to be here now notice that from this part here the side opposite of 30 degree going to the adjacent I multiply by radical 3 so from here going there I multiply by radical 3 let me write it down suppose this is my a here 
then this will be a times radical 3 right okay so uh, what is a then a will be 6 divided by radical 3 okay if from here to there you multiply by radical 3 then when you come back you divide by radical 3 okay now uh, and if I rationalize the denominator which you're supposed to know uh, that will be 6 radical 3 over 3 which is 2 radical 3 okay now once you know that uh, the side adjacent to 30 degree is 2 radical 3 then the hypotenuse will be twice of that which is 4 radical 3 okay from here to there you double it from here to here you divide by 2 from here to there you multiply by radical 3 so from here to there you divide by radical 3 okay now this is the fourth introduction into math 241 trigonometry uh, which we discuss the special right triangle the first special right triangle 30 60 90 degree right triangle